Gents, welcome back to another episode of Styling Showdown, where we take two hair products and battle them against each other over a series of categories. At the end of the last episode, you guys voted on which pairing you wanted to see go up against each other next. And the winner was Clay's. We've got two going up against each other here from Salon Style Brands. We have the American Crew Molding Clay going up against the Tony and Guy Styling Clay. And I'm sure you guys out there will have heard of at least one of these two recognizable brands before. You'll find the American Crew stuff available in loads of salons, whereas the Tony and Guy hair products you'll find generally more in high street stores. Because the Tony and Guy hair salons themselves actually don't use these products, they use the Label M branded products. First, let's take a look at both of these products and see what they're apparently offering us. The American Crew product says, molding clay with high hold and medium shine. And also on the back it says it maintains touchable shape and texture texture that works well on shorter styles. Whereas the Tony and Guy product literally just says styling clay creative mold and hold and there's no other information about what that actually means but we'll find out in today's video. I'll leave a link in the description below to both of these products if you wanted to check either of these out as well as a link to my favorite pre-styler that I use in every single one of these videos, the Label M Thickening Tonic. This product is the best when in use with a hairdryer at giving your hair the real thickness and structure that you need to build some decent hairstyles. Let's begin then with round one, smell and packaging. Arguably the least important category, but there are some certain differences between these two products. They both come with the twist cap lids and the typical circular shaped containers. The Tony and Guy product, I don't know, I just don't think that it particularly looks or feels like a high quality product. You can see there that even though this is a relatively new product for me, it's already got several dents in. The material looks incredibly thin when you compare it to the American Crew. This one says men on it, but I don't think it looks particularly manly. It just looks like they've taken a home brand product from somewhere and painted gray paint on the side. So I'm not particularly impressed with the packaging on this one. When it comes to the American Crew product, I always really like the look of the American Crew products, to be honest, lads. I'm a bit of a sucker for them. When I see them on the shelf, I always want to buy them. Made of a very solid plastic. Um, I really like the touch and the weight to these containers. Also, the writing and the color of the sticker on the top really makes a difference for me. But they take very different approaches when it comes to the smell. The Tony and Guy one is very neutral. It, it just smells okay, it smells fine. The American Crew's got a much stronger scent. I think it's sort of lemony, I can't exactly pin it down. It smells quite nice, it's not great, but it's okay. So the winner in this round is the American Crew product, which I'm giving 3.5 out of 5 for smell and packaging. And the Tony and Guy one, it's okay, middle of the road, 3 out of 5. Application and control. How easy are these products to get out of the tub, through the hands, into the hair, and into the position that you generally want? These two products are of a different texture to one another. The Tony and Guy product is far more creamy. I would almost describe this as a paste rather than a clay. And this does mean it comes out of the container super easy, straight into the hands and into the hair. And although the American Crew product is definitely thicker in consistency, it's maybe a little bit more difficult to get out of the container and into the hands, it still goes into there absolutely fine considering it's more of a traditional feel clay. But when you're trying to construct the general shape of the style you want, the Tony and Guy product lets itself down. I don't know whether it's got anything to do with the creative mold and hold that it advertises on the front, but your hair goes all over the place. For some reason, your hair just lacks the structure and shape, the ability to move it into the position that you actually want, it's just not there because the hair wants to go in all directions, especially towards the back of the head where it was just sticking up for some reason, no matter what blow drying technique I tried to use. Versus the American Crew product, which was still not the greatest by any means, but it was slightly more controllable. I think maybe down to the overall weight of the product. It was greasier going into the hair, which we'll talk about later for certain, but it generally got into the shape that I wanted much faster than the Tony and Guy product. Application and control, American Crew takes the win again. 3.5 stars with the Tony and Guy products coming in, it's only three stars again. Volume and lift. How thick and high can you get your hair using these products? To be honest, not very. They're both okay, but they certainly don't allow you to build a high structure in the hair. Really, with both of these products, there's no chance that you can build a huge quiff just due to the nature and the weight of them. Therefore, I am calling this one a draw, but they're both getting quite a low score of 2.5 out of 5. 
texture and finish, how do these products leave your hair actually looking? Now the Tony and Guy product on the front actually doesn't mention what type of finish it aims to leave, which kind of sucks when it's on the shelf. So in the hair, what does it actually look like? It's quite good. You can see there's reasonable texture in the hair when using this product, and it's generally quite a matte finish from what I can tell. And that's generally what I look for in clays. And the American crew on the other hand, oh my God, <laughs> this is where it starts going all off the rails for this product because it claims on the front that it's medium shine. And that is a freaking lie. This is one of the greasiest products I have ever used, especially greasiest products when it comes to clays. You put this in your hair and it's like you've just taken either a scoop of wax or pomade and just put that through instead. There is absolutely no way that this is a medium shine. This is a high shine product. And because it's so greasy, you don't particularly get any great texture in the hair. It sucks. So in this round, the obvious winner is gonna be the Tony and Guy product. I'm giving this a respectable 3.5 out of five. And the American crew, Damn, two out of five, quite a bad score in this round. Now we're on to the final category, which is hold. And I always think this is important if you actually want to use one of these products and have your hair stay in place the entire day. Are either of these products gonna do this? No. You will definitely need to utilize quite a bit of hairspray to keep your hair in place with these two products because they are very, very average when it comes to hold. If you're wanting a product that holds well, that's cheaper than these products, then there are a lot out there that do that. And maybe this is why the Tony and Guy product advertises as a creative mold and hold because it doesn't really stay in place. And again, the American Crew product just completely lies, says it's a high hold. It's not a blooming high hold whatsoever. This is absolutely medium to low hold. And as a result in this round, yet again, they're not getting very high scores, lads. We're going for a 2.5 out of five for both of these. So that concludes the scoring rounds. What are the final scores of each of these products? Well, out of an overall possible score of 25, it's a very close contest yet again. But the winner with 14.5 is the Tony and Guy product, which is not great, but it's still better than the 14 out of 25 achieved by the American Crew Molding Clay. The Tony and Guy Styling Clay is just meh in everything. It's not a good all-rounder, it's just a slightly better all-rounder than the Molding Clay, which is just let down by that super slimy finish that your hair gets after using it. And what's the price of each of these products? Well, at the moment, in the UK, online on Amazon, you can get both for around the seven pound mark. The American Crew is slightly more expensive, but you get slightly more in the tub. So given the relatively poor performance ratings that each of these products received compared to their price, I'm giving both of these products 2.5 out of five when it comes to value rating. The real question is, would I buy them? And the answer, as you can probably tell, is no to either of them. The Tony and Guy product is very average for the slightly higher price point compared to other items. If you're in the market for a slightly better clay at a similar sort of price point, there's several that are available on the high street in the UK. The Trevor Sorby clay is better, has a much better hold and shape to it. The Johnny's Chop Shop Wildcat Hair Clay, you've seen me use in previous videos. This stuff is pretty good in comparison still. And the Fish Soho product, their version of the clay is also pretty good too. And when it comes to the American Crew Molding Clay, this is probably the worst product of theirs I've tried. Luckily, there is other really decent products in their range, which I think if you wanted high hold, you should try instead. The fiber that they make is significantly better, it gives much less shine, much, much better hold in comparison to the molding clay. So if initially you're thinking about getting the molding clay, no chance lads, don't even waste your money on it. Just get the American Crew Fiber instead. I'll leave that in the description too, but now the power is in your hands. For the next styling showdown, what two products do you wanna see going up against each other? Once more, we've got option number one to this side, option number two on this side. Have a little look at them. Which one do you want to see? Let me know by pressing the I in the corner of the screen and selecting one of these two options from the drop down menu. And also whack it in the comment section as well to get an extra vote. If you enjoyed this product comparison, let me know by pressing the like button down below. And if you want to see more of these, then make sure you're subscribed to the channel and press the little bell next to it to make sure that you're notified every single time I make a video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.